Perfect. Well, I guess most of the lightning talks are supposed to be fun, but mine is going to be sad. Sad because in most languages, there is only one way to insert something into a map. But when it comes to C++, it's a bit more like this. It's uh, very tricky when you want to do conditional insertions. So, oops, sorry, what's going on? Ah, that's really un annoying. Right, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, yes, conditional insertion. What do I mean? I mean, when you have a key on a value and you want to insert this into a map, only if the key is not already in there. And what most of the people end up doing is exactly that, what I said, which is not really good because this is doing way too many lookups, and lookups are a bit expensive. So this is slow. So since C++ 98, you already had in place. And in place is doing the conditional insertion for you. The problem with in place is that you need to create a pair up front. And sometimes creating this pair can be expensive. Uh, typically, if a class is expensive, you will have to pay this cost even if you are not inserting something into the map. So that's not great. C++ 11, you had in place. And while in place is a lot shorter, in place doesn't solve anything regarding the fact that you will pay a cost. Why? Because if you take a look at the standard in the FX for on place, two things will come to your mind. First, that you are totally lost. And the second thing is that what is going on if, if I don't succeed to insert? And C++ reference is a lot kinder than the standard, and it says to us, well, the key value pair may be constructed even if the key is already in there. So after 20 years of evolution, the C++ committee finally came up with a solution. Try on place. And try on place is beautiful. It is solving the conditional insertion, and you don't have to pay any cost up front. Is it good? Of course not. It's not good enough. It doesn't work very well with smart pointers. Why? If I have a unique pointer as a value, I will need to supply a unique pointer when I do a try on place. To make a unique pointer, I need to allocate and construct something most of the time. So we have exactly the same issue as insert here. So what could we do? Well, one thing you could do is you could insert a null pointer first and check, did I succeed to try and play something or not? If I succeed, then that means that I need to construct something so I can call me a clinic. Perfect. Of course not. It's not perfect. Why? Because if you have an exception in between these two statements, you will have a map in an incoherent state where you have a null pointer inside. That's not great. It's kind of dangerous. So for you, I went to see some other people. D unrest. D has this concept of lazy arguments. And we don't have it, but we can make it. What we can do is we can have a helper structure. And it's a lot of boilerplate. I'm not expecting you to understand everything. But it has a conversion operator. And this conversion operator calls a lambda, or uh, a callable. So how can I, I can use that? Well, no, what I can do is I can make a lambda that returns a unique pointer and wrap it into my helper. And I can send it to try on place. And if try on place needs to construct a value, it will call the conversion operator that will call my lambda that will make the unique pointer. Awesome, it works with C17. Rust, they do kind of the same thing, but instead of having this helper, they send the lambda straight away to their something that is kind of like try on place with function. But I don't like Rust. And if we have to modify the standard, I think there is a better way. There is a C way to do that. It would be to have an in place constructor for smart pointers. It would be a constructor that works like std in place for tuples that would say to the smart pointer, I want you to create and allocate the, the class within yourself. And that would make a one-liner, which would be awesome. Another advantage of that is that it works also with unique pointers. Um, uh, sorry, it will replace make unique, because now you can use Sita to create your unique pointer. And that's it for me.
Thanks a lot. Thank you. Right on time. <laughs>